What's going on guys? Have you ever wanted to create the same content with the same images and tags but for different social media, whether it's Facebook, it's Twitter, Instagram story or Instagram feed or even your YouTube thumbnail? Well today I'll show you how to do it easily with Adobe Spark. Adobe Spark was introduced about a year ago but we discovered it only about three months ago and it's definitely one of our favorite programs from Adobe. So Adobe Spark is one of the best choices if you have the same content, so the same images and the same text, but you want to post to different social medias in different formats. And let's get to our computer and I'll show you how. Okay, so here we are with Adobe Spark. Adobe Spark is a web application, but you can also use it through an, uh, an app for your iPhone or iPad. And the best thing is Adobe Spark is free. If you have a Creative Cloud uh, membership, you actually can unlock some of extra features for Spark, but for general use, Adobe Spark is free. So let's jump in and I'll show you how to quickly create the content for different social media. So when you come to a homepage, um, you have options to create a post, a page, and a video. We always create just a post because that's really what we want to create here. Uh, when you create a new post, it will give you an option to either create from scratch or you have a very big variety of templates that you can, you can choose from uh, as a starting point. Or you can just change the text and you, know, you can really do it, uh, do it really fast. For us, when we create our uh, social media graphics, we always, always start with the previous templates that already somebody either created or we used in the past. So for this uh, demonstration, we're going to use one of our um, uh, images that we used uh, previously. Let me go back. So here is the a thumbnail that we use for one of our previous videos uh, when I showed how I shot and edited a maternity photo of my wife, Sasha. So let's use this as, an, as our example. Okay, so here we have the main screen when you design your uh, social media graphics and Spark in general, it's, a, it's, it's all about simplicity. It doesn't uh, give you a lot of choices in terms of you know, sliders and what you want to change. It's all about making fast and simple and uh, be done within a couple of minutes. So let me, I'll just show you like the few uh, main features and then how to create the same content but for different social media very fast. So when you open a new one, you know, whether you're using your previous one or using from a template, uh, if you go to design, this is the original uh, design that you have right now, but if you scroll down, you still have a lot of different options that you can choose from uh, that, you know, if you, if you like something better. The layout is um, a place where you can specify how you want the different placeholders to be on your graphic. Uh, right now we have three placeholders, so we have one, two, and this is our third one. So basically, uh, let me uh, select, we go to the layout again, and you can see that this is like this, this layout that we have here. Uh, but you have a lot of different options here, you know, that you can, you can uh, select from, you can do collages or any type of uh, really environment. You can also specify what kind of border you want around your, uh, your whole layout. And you can see like, you know, you can have black, so you can have a border around, you can make a little bit of spacing in between, so that, you know, so now I have a black border around each of the content. For me, this didn't work that much, so I'm gonna undo it. Okay, so now we're back where we were. Also, one thing to, uh, worth mentioning, since this is a web application, you really don't have an undo function. Maybe Adobe will uh, implement this in the future, but right now there's really no undo, so whatever you, uh, you made, the changes to your design, this is really what stays. So you have to go back to, um, if you want to go back to what you had, you have to redo those steps again. Okay, let's go next to the palette, and this is a very powerful feature. Uh, here you can um, specify the different color scheme that you want for your design. So for example, this is our current one, and we mainly using white, red, and black, but if I want to change it to, let's say, um, something modern, and let's say that I want like this kind of, um, um, I think it's ivory and blue, so if I click on it, it will change all the feel 
uh, you know, of, of, the te of the whole graphic for me within this color range. So you see how easy it is you know, to just change the overall feel and staying within a good practice graphical color, color scheme. And if you don't want, you know, if you don't like exactly you know, the colors, you can always rotate and then so we'll, uh, rotate the colors within the graphic. So you know, if this is another version, um, another version, you know, so let's say I don't like this one, let me go again. Okay, so this is basically uh, you know, how those color uh, palettes work. If I want to go back to my previous one, I just click on my original one. Here it is. Um, so now I'm back to the color scheme that I was before. Okay, now, um, so this is really what you can do in the palette here. So any color schemes that you want. Also, for each of the photos, uh, you can specify what kind of feel you want to have. So if I click on any of the photos, I can also apply the filters uh, to my photo. So for example, if I want like, um, let's say this Magnolia feel, I can change the feel of the photos. Since for this uh, thumbnail, I wanted uh, the original photo, so I'm not gonna apply any filters. But if you want, you can change the feel of the photos. Okay, let's go back now to the text. So if you click on any text, this big wheel, the style suggestion will, uh, will appear. And this is one of the coolest features of, of Spark. Basically, if you move your wheel around, it will change the style of this text. And it's really like hundreds you know, uh, of different styles that you can choose from. I'm just going to go back to you know, what I had before, but you can see how easily it is to change the style. So you can just move the wheel and see what you like. And uh, you know, you can, I can click on this uh, text here and I'm gonna, I may change the text of this one as well. So you can see how easily it is for me to change the style of this text. And it's really a lot of different options that, you know, that I can choose from here. I'm just going to go back to what I was before. Um, the same, you know, for these texts, you know, before uh, this text um, and this one before and after, I can easily change the um, uh, the design of it. Uh, for each of the texts, you can change the color, of course, the font, and there is a great variety of fonts to choose from. Uh, you can also change the opacity, uh, the spacing, so how many, how, uh, how many lines, I mean, how much space you have between the lines. So this is a good, what I have, the text with, um, with multiple lines. So if I click on the spacing, um, it actually, it's not that you adjust the spacing between the lines, you actually rotate through different options. And this is, this is what is cool about Spark. It's all about the simplicity. So again, by clicking on the spacing, it just rotates through different spacing options. And the same with the, with the alignment. So you can do left, right, center, or fill it. Um, now, the next very powerful feature of Spark is how you can quickly change the appearance or the colors of individual words or lines. So let's go to the words tab here. And you can see that I can change, for example, if I want to change the, just the color of Photoshop to red, I just click on Photoshop and Photoshop is automatically changed to red. Or I can just click again, it goes back to black. You know, if I want, let's say, um, edit to be black, shoot, is black, and then I do edit as red, that's it, that's that easy. If I switch to lines, now I'm, I'm changing the actual, the whole lines. Um, and then you can do a different shapes around your text. And there's plenty of them, so for example, if I want to have, let me see what kind of text. Or if I want to have those kind of lines around my text. Here it is, or just a border. You know, it's, it's that easy to make different changes to your text. And now, let's jump to the most powerful feature of uh, Adobe Spark, is how you create the same content, but for different social media. So for this, you go back to layout, and we go to resize. And in resize, you, you know, beside doing the, you know, you can do your custom size, which is, you know, that's okay. But the powerful feature here is the social post. So you can do uh, something for Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, blog posts. You can see YouTube thumbnail, Facebook ad, Instagram story, uh, or you can do your profile, you know, photos for Facebook, uh, for Twitter, uh, for LinkedIn. Uh, YouTube channel art, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So there's a, a, all the options from social media that you can just create quickly uh, how you want this to look 
and, and, and fit well for, your, for the specific social media. So let's say, you know, this is my um, YouTube thumbnail. So this is specifically size for YouTube, uh, for YouTube thumbnail. Let's say that I want to create an um, Insta story and Insta stories are always vertical. So I'm going, to go, I'm going to go down here and click on Insta story. And this will automatically resize this image for me and be specific for Insta story. This is how easy it is. I mean, if I, if I wanted to do this in Photoshop or any other application, I have to resize it, move the elements around, making sure that, you know, that everything is good. And this is, you know, I can just quickly uh, grab this how to. Or actually, so let me just do done. And then let me, let me click on my text here. I can quickly arrange it that it's, um, it's center. Here it is, I can move it around. I can click this text. And I'm basically done. This is how easy it is to create, let's say, Facebook ads or a Facebook profile or Insta story or Instagram feed. You were just changing the, the, the size and the layout of each of, the, uh, of your graphics. So, if you find this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, my name is Janek, I'm from Vasha Photograph, and in this channel we talk everything about photography and how to make our life easier, but also how to photograph better and how to edit better. So if you like our channel, please don't forget to subscribe, click the little bell button to be notified when we post our new videos. Leave a comment below to either say how Sparkle is already saving your time, or based on this video, how this will save your time. So thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next video.